Yo guys, what up? This is Nico here, and welcome to my first tutorial, which is on motion tracking with uh, Camera Tracker 1.0. And I guess most of y'all have Camera Tracker, but um, if you don't, I'll put a link in the description to a tutorial on how to download and install it. It's really, it's really easy, you know. So uh, you can do that by yourself. Um, so what we're gonna do today is basically a text, a motion track text, and um, and if you remember, uh, on my pre last edit, which is paranormal activity, um, I motion tracked an eagle, right? It was on a box, like standing on a box, yeah. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do that as well. So this is what we're gonna do today. As you can see, this eagle right here. And the motion track text, which is uh, kind of turning off and going on as I always do it. Um, so I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. All right. So let's get right into it. Um, we're gonna import our um, cinematic, whatever you want. Uh, I'm suggesting you make it like flat going, like not moving the mouse while you're doing it. This is um, this is really basic, right? If you want to go and make it harder, you can uh, you you can move around the mouse, obviously. But but I made it you know basic. So just for the purpose of this video, I made it really basic so you guys could could understand um, how am I doing this uh, really fast. Um, I hope it won't take uh, too long, but um, yeah. So uh, you're gonna. Uh, okay, let's trim this. All right. So now, when you have this right here, you're gonna um, type camera tracker, right? Uh, you're gonna pull it up on the um, video, right? So you're gonna set it up to 300, and you're gonna track features. I'm gonna um, fast forward on this part because it's gonna take like two minutes. All right. So hold on. Okay, so it's nearly done. All right. So once it tracked the video, you're going to press on solve camera. And it's going to process the solve, right? Then it's going to go and say solve, right? Um then you're going to wait a little bit. Yeah. Uh, okay. So um you, you can see that there are green uh, thingies and there are the red ones on the red ones you actually can't put the solve and as you can see the track lifetime um, is low is really low so uh, it, won't, it won't help you anyways uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and put it right here oh, oh, oh wait you're gonna press first of all on your right um, mouse button right uh, and right mouse button then control and in the same time control and the right mouse button right like control right button yeah then you're gonna uh, choose ground plane then set organ oh, alright um, then you're gonna go right here and you're gonna create scene then it's gonna create this um, two layers above and this thing basically which we need uh, to track on right okay so now you're gonna choose text and it's gonna and then press on the screen basically alright then you're gonna just type whatever you want like um, like like I did um, motion no wait um, motion tracking tutorial all right um, let's say by Nico all right so now you want to design it a little bit uh, like change the text firstly I like this one uh, it's really basic and yeah I like it mostly I use this one so yeah uh, okay so we're gonna make it bigger 
Uh, let's say. No, I'm gonna make it like this so it'll look a little better. Right? Because we want it to look better. So we're gonna make this bigger. Hold on. I'm gonna make it bigger. Okay. Alright. So, now, you're gonna go ahead right here and you're gonna press on this little empty box then it's gonna automatically track it to the point where you wanted it to be right then you're gonna scroll back with your mouse scroller and make it little then just just you know um put it in the middle of the screen then press on fit so you can design it by yourself you can see clearly what you're doing so basically I want it here right so it's it's tracked you know it's not it's not moving um, what I do is I add glow on it you can actually play around with the settings but um, let's say let's say um, like this and not much of a glow but yeah well something like this alright as an example um and you want it to look better so you're gonna go ahead not type don't type anything just um go into animated pre uh, presets right then uh, to transitions dissolves and the first one you see is the block D digital right you're gonna put it on the text then you won't see anything um, don't worry and you'll just go ahead and you know turn on the video obviously and uh, oh, hold on yeah and it's gonna be like this it's gonna come on uh, in a cool way I like this you know uh, so you can do that um, and then I wanted it to go ahead and uh, disappear around here so you're gonna press control shift D at the same time then uh, control X to delete this one because you don't need it then um, then you're gonna press on T while it's uh, on the text layer press on T right and you're gonna go ahead and go back um you're gonna press on this uh yeah then you're gonna go about nearly to the end you're gonna add a keyframe right then you're gonna go ahead and to the end right and you're gonna just um scroll it down so it goes kinda down from here to here it, it completely uh disappears so uh, yeah. Now, what I'm what I'm gonna do. This is what I personally do. I don't know how um you guys do it, but I'm gonna do it like this. I'm gonna go into composition, add to rendering. Um, now I'm just gonna render it. Yeah. Hold on. Okay, so now, uh, hold on, uh, project. Okay, so you're gonna go to where you render it, right? Um, so I render it right here. You're gonna take it out and um, put it in your After Effects. Okay, then you're gonna drag it into this um, little square button, right? Now it will make it completely a new layer so and then you're this is kind of annoying but you're gonna make you're gonna add camera tracker again and track the whole thing again this is what what I personally do I think it's it's um it's the easiest way for me and um, I suggest you guys do it as I do it um, so yeah I'm gonna fast forward again and then I'm gonna come back
Alright, so once it's done tracking once again, you're gonna press solve camera. And it's gonna solve again. Alright. So now we're gonna go to the part where we wanna put that eagle, right? Which is pretty cool. Which is here. Then we're gonna do it again. We're gonna press on the right mouse button. Then we're gonna press on control and right button in the same time. Like no. Um first on the control, then on the right um mouse button, like nearly at the same time, right? Like we did already. Um so Sergeant, right? Then create scene. It's gonna create a scene right here. Okay, um, now as you can see, there is a scene right here. Okay. Now, we're gonna add the eagle, which, if any of you guys didn't know, is a basic green screen. So, nothing really special about it. Um, just, you know, regular green screen. So, gonna find the part where we want the eagle um, let's say alright alright hold on um, so control shift D I'll add the eagle uh, download in the description so you guys can enjoy it as well um, say from about here to here that I'm gonna delete it okay so now you can see the green screen and the eagle right then you're gonna type in key light this is not a plugin or something it's it it goes with the after effect so we're gonna edit on the uh, eagle green screen right and you're gonna um, choose this little um, like, like a pencil yeah so and just point it out on the green screen and press on the uh, left mouse button then the green screen is gone okay so then you're gonna go to screen mat and screen drink minus one so it kinda uh, it, it looks way better um, it kinda edits out the white lines which were as you can see right here um, so I gotta do that and now again you're gonna press right here on the empty box and it's gonna track it but it tracked it in a bad way as most of the time it's so it's alright we're gonna just make it little then we're gonna fit screen then we're gonna we're gonna play with it as we want it to be the eagle right um let's say size I'm gonna just put it on right here. Okay, like okay. So I think we made it a little bit thin, but it's cool. You you, you can uh, play with it, yeah. So so as it goes on, you can see the eagle motion track and not moving as I did. I'm gonna make a preview. So hold on. Okay, so let's see this together. Screen going, that goes out. Then the eagle comes in and it isn't moving as you can see. Right? So, that is basically it, you know. Um, then you want to render it again, just to go to composition and edit. Then output it to wherever you want. Then press render then it's gonna render it and that is basically it guys um i hope you did enjoy this uh, little tutorial hopefully i'll keep on making them and um hope to get full support um it took me some time um to record this because i've waited for my microphone set to uh to arrive 
that um so finally did and um yeah drop a like if you like the video and if I helped I would I would really uh, appreciate it and um yeah see you next time guys bye